everybody! Hi, Dr. Nick! Oh, you all play along. That's fun. Which part? Size of steel. Reserve. Russ, one minute recap. I believe there are some new people in the audience. Yeah, at least two. All right, guys. Last week I told you a story. Part of one. Running across the parking lot in the rain, fell and tripped over a grass embedment and fell down and went boom! <laughs> Made it into the car, got look at my toe, and my toe went like that! That's bad. Got to the doctor, doctor said, what the fuck did you do? Why'd you, why are you even here? I broke my toe, why the fuck are you here? Look at that, oh my god! Break, 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 break. 12 times, one place, one toe. Fuck! Go to see a specialist, specialist says, Is that about 10 seconds? Not bad. <laughs> the specialist takes a look at the, the x-rays of my foot and proceeds to count out the 12 breaks I have made into my big toe and goes, well, you're a special little guy, aren't you? <laughs> Proceed to tell him about how my last doctor channeled George Takai for a second when she first pulled out the x-rays. He went, that's bad bedside manner. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> he goes, all right, Jay. We've got something we're gonna do. We, we have figured out how to make it so you can walk. He says, we're gonna try a never before, never even done surgery to your foot. We're gonna take a high powered laser because honestly guys, I love anything that involves the word laser. And if you don't, you have not lived. We're gonna use a laser to fuse all those little pieces of bone floating around in your toe like a little meat sack into one bone and you'll be able to walk again. Fucking great, let's do it. Better, faster, stronger. So I go to the hospital, I get to the hospital, they take me into the little room before you go into surgery. Now I don't know if you've ever had surgery before, but generally your anesthesiologist will not tell you that he's already started the drugs. He'll tell you about 20 minutes afterwards. So they're rolling me down the hallway to the OR and every single fluorescent light above my head is like an epiphany from God. <laughs> every time I roll past it, it's just, oh God, oh God, oh God. Each time my brain is filling with more information that I will lose before I wake up from this. So we get through the surgery. I wake up in the recovery room. And this is something you should not have your mother recount to you. But she says, Jay, I was sitting next to your bed as you were recovering from surgery. And in a strange moment, when the nurse came by, you sat straight up from being unconscious. Looked the nurse dead in the eye and said, you are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Fuck me now. <laughs> and we're right back out. I'm so glad you're all so proud for me, but that was my mother who had to tell me that. <laughs> so we make it out of the recovery room, I get back into the regular room, and I notice that, that my toe doesn't look normal. Um, it is no longer like this, it is now straight-ish. But the problem is, is there's two long titanium rods sticking out of my toe. And, and I, look, I look at my mother and the doctor and go, <laughs> they said, well, Jay, we are pleased to tell you, you are going to be in the New England Medical Journal. Because that never before tried, totally experimental, revolutionary laser surgery doesn't fucking work. So I got a couple of rods in my toe. I get to carry around the little card for when you try to fly and go through the metal detector. It's in my wallet. Ask me, I'll show it to you later. And this isn't even the interesting part. So there was a gentleman who was with me on the day that I broke that toe in such an interesting and wonderful fashion. And I get back to school. And he looks at me and goes, Jay, welcome back. Want to go smoke some pot? <laughs> so of course, I hobble my crutchety little ass across the street from the high school over to the parking lot of the Baptist church where we 
wow, I'm going to hell for that one, and um, <laughs> proceeded to sit down and smoke a little bit, you know, imbibe, enjoy, and oh God, you know, first period starts in about 10 minutes. We should get going. Anytime you have surgery, they prescribe to you some very, very choice painkillers. Now, when you are a young, impressionable, unknowing, unexperienced youth, you do not understand the horrible combination that mixing drugs unintentionally can do to you. So I had eaten a couple of my horse-sized Vicodins, hobbled my crutchety ass across the street, smoked a little bit of pot, stood up to go back to class, made it three good crutches, and sat the fuck down. Oh my God, I'm so tired. And the school is about 85 yards, so far away. I sit there, and this young nice lady, she, she takes pity on my soul and sits there with me, and I get up again, and I make it another three steps, and oh God, it's so far. I think the principal was watching me for at least an hour and a half as I tried to make it across the street to the front door of the public education building. I get inside the door and there's Miss Schmoker. And I couldn't make that name up. S-H-M-O-K-E-R. Really, I can't make that up. Miss Schmoker. It sounds like a New Englander trying to have a cigarette. Looks at me and goes, Mr. Redden, you were on drugs. And for probably the only time in my life I got to go, yes! And here's a prescription, go to hell. <laughs>